Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing uh, another makeup look, a fun makeup look maybe you can do for like a Halloween party or something um, since it's October and Halloween's coming up. I'm also going to talk to you guys about um, why I haven't been posting as frequently as um, I was posting. It's been a lot going on. I've been having some health issues going on with uh, my breast and with my left knee. And since I don't have a good insurance where I can just see who I need to see, I've been really getting kind of depressed about it and, you know, trying to deal with the pain. And, you know, but today I thought I would just go ahead and do a video because I really enjoy doing these videos for you guys. They get my mind off of everything that is bothering me. So let's get into the look. I'm not really going to focus much on showing y'all each and every palette that I use because I, I grabbed a variety of my, you know, favorite little palettes to complete this look. So, um, as I'm doing it, I'm just going to talk to y'all and tell y'all um, what I've been going through and, you know, reason why the posting's been um, limited. But I have a lot of stuff that I want to do and start getting back into the routine of coming up with a consistent schedule i know saying posting every day would be too much for me right now since i'm a mother a wife a college student have these issues going on with my health and such like that so i think i'll at least try to post two times a week out of a week and um we'll see how that goes i don't know i'm gonna figure out a, a concrete schedule soon all right The first thing that I want to do is I want to go into this little uh, concealer and blush palette. It looks all messy. Don't mind it. And um, I just want to lay this here because I'm going to try to do a cut and crease. Now, I don't know if it's how it's going to turn out, but I'm just going to we're just going to try. And while I'm doing this, laying this down. I just want to tell y'all uh, what's been going on. First, I'm going to start on my knee. Uh, I hurt my knee last year. I fell on it, getting my kids off the bus from school. And it hurt, you know, whatever. But it got better, and I didn't, I, I didn't think anything about it. But obviously, I had damaged it pretty bad because back in March of this year, I ended up... Um, playing badminton with my husband and I stepped back in my knee and when I did so you know it has been swelling on me ever since then and it's been giving me a lot of trouble and it's starting to really get deformed and deteriorate it's really weak and I've been through therapy I've changed primary care doctors and I just can't seem to see an orthopedic to understand you know why my knee won't stop bothering me and it's really frustrating when you're in pain and you go to a doctor and you just want to know what's going on and they are like well since your health insurance this and that then you need to go home and suffer and didn't come up here because yeah even though we're doctors we don't care so you know that's basically what I've been getting which is really discouraging and makes me sad for other people who come in and may have the same, you know, um, issue that they can't afford to just see who they really need to see because their health insurance plan does not cover that. And they just don't have the money to go walk in and, and pay cash. And at this point, if I did, I, I would. So, I've been dealing with that. It's really been hindering my mobility a lot because it seems like it's starting to get worse. But, you know, I deal with it because I just, I have no choice. And with the issue regarding my breast, which is really scary, I developed a bruise on my breast that came out of nowhere. I didn't hit my breast on anything. There was no reason the bruise should be there. And it's been there for a while. And it's been start it's starting to, you know, concern me. So, you know, 
I went to the doctor thinking they would be just as concerned and I, the appointment that they gave me is way for next year. So I'll probably end up just having to go to the emergency room. And it's sad because it seems like, you know, that's what you have to do. And when you go to the emergency room, the first thing they always want to say is like, oh, well, why didn't you go to your primary health uh, doctor? They're the ones that's supposed to see referrals out for these issues. Well, buddy, I did that. I did that. And it didn't help me. What am I supposed to do? Sit here and let my health deteriorate when I notice something? It's, it's just crazy. After I um lay down uh, this base here, which is not perfect, but I kind of wanted to just lay this um, down over this first so that the um, colors will really stand out. But yeah, so I've been having these these health issues and when you can't get help and you really need it, it it's it's really depressing. But I'm not gonna let it get me too down. I'm trying not to let it get me too down. Cause you know I, the that's not gonna help the situation. And I'm not going to lie, I've been really upset for the last couple days about it. And so that's the reason, guys. The reason why there's been a, a lack of posting the way I really want to. um shopping for a lot of new makeup items soon some uh, new palettes you know i want to show some looks with some new palettes me personally myself i can use the same palettes for a long time because like i said i i'm i don't always have the money to go out and get the the latest whatever is out so i uh, i never have been a person who has really cared about that but since I've started doing these videos, I really would like to get some different um, palettes and eyeliners and stuff so I can do a lot of different looks for you guys. Okay, after I do this, I want to go in and I'm going to use this uh, pink color dippy and swag. I'm going to use this mirror, guys. It'll be better. You know, it's crazy when you go to the doctor and you feel like, you know, something is going to get done about your health and then they tell you, no, we're basically not going to do anything because your plan doesn't cover it. It's a really sad state of affairs, but, you know. And I know a lot of people will be like, well, just do this and do that so you can afford, you know, afford it. Even if I worked two jobs, the the amount it would probably cost me to go in and see an orthopedic with cash money, I mean, it'll, I'm sure it would be really expensive, so. I don't know, guys. But I've been dragging this leg around. It's been swelling up on me and hurting me. For seven months now so I just kind of have to learn to live with it I guess sad situation but there could be a lot of worse things I mean I, I can still get around so I don't want to complain too much because I know that it could be a lot worse and I'm just praying that it doesn't get a lot worse so my plan is to just keep myself busy try to find some way to get a sooner appointment regarding my breast because I feel like that's a really serious issue it really needs to be seen about it's like they tell you these things like um, if you 
notice this or that with your breasts, it, you know, it's an emergency. Make sure you tell your primary care doctor immediately because it needs to be handled and you tell them and they do nothing. Or they tell you, oh, yeah, that's not good. But since your insurance is that, then this, then we're not going to do anything about it. <sighs> Sad. You know, they take an oath to do no harm and then they turn around and they harm you. And I know that there's only so much that they can do that they don't control everything or, you know, what insurance policies do what. But I just think the whole thing is just pitiful. It really is. It's pitiful and sad. Have you guys heard about the um, haunted house that you have to sign a waiver for? And if you get through it, you get um, you get like $20,000 or something. It's definitely not something that I would do because I know that I'd end up falling and hurting myself, trying to run away. Hence why they want you to sign the waiver. Which is crazy. And people are actually going to do it. Sign a waiver. To put their self in danger. I guess. Okay. I want to use a little white out of this palette. For the corner. Of my eye. So, I love the um, palettes that have mirrors in it. So convenient. A lot of them don't won't come with a mirror, but I think they should all come with a mirror. Okay, beautiful. And then I also want to put this same, um, hmm, let's see. I don't know if I want to put that white in the corner or maybe I'll put something else in there to make it pop. I think I'll put that pink in the corner. And they have a little fallout for the shadow. Make sure you brush it off. Okay, let me put some mascara on my bottom lid and then we're going to draw the little pieces of candy that I want to draw on here. Let me get the same mirror back. Just need it.
Okay. Now what I'm going to do is draw my little pieces of candy on my face. Uh, I'm not sure how I want to draw them. I think I'll start with this purple eyeliner. Maybe I should use the white to more show up to draw it. Only just using this green to kind of help me draw my candy piece on my face. And then I'm gonna go in with the shadow. I'm gonna kind of blend in the colors of it. And I'll probably speed this part up on the video, guys, just so it won't make the video be so long. Definitely think that's what I'm going to do. There's my little piece of candy. I think I'll draw another one over here. And then, of course, we'll do our highlight and lips, and we'll be done. Where'd my green go? Okay, here it is.
lips. All right, guys, this is the finished look. This is my Sugar Rush inspired um, Halloween party kind of look. I think it turned out really good. I got my little lollipop here, my little piece of candy, and my lips. I love the colors of the eyeshadow. I um, think I did pretty okay for my first cut and crease. Um, I'll get better. Um... I really loved how my lips turned out. I actually used my um, eyeshadow, you know, to achieve this. But all right, guys, that'll be all for today. I'll be back um, with more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.